patches which I used and which were completely useless. I was fucking miserable. The patches don't give you enough nicotine. They don't give it you in a manner that satisfies an, a real addict's um, need for it. I mean, I smoke when I really want it. When I, I want it at certain moments. And I can go four hours without any. And then I want it at that certain moment again. All right, and a patch doesn't do any of that, so it's completely unsatisfactory, uh, uh, you know, from this person, from other, this addict's point of view, the patch was a big fucking waste of money. Uh, fortunately, I didn't pay for it. Well, here's what I say to the company. If you really believe that, let's put some trials out. All those other nicotine products, and we've discussed them on the air here, they've been well studied. Some are prescription only. The patch is not... And he said, all of them are a big, fat fucking failure. And yeah, let's study the hell out of it. Fine, great. I'll be part of the study. I'll be willing to smoke this. <laughs> you go ahead and get the FDA to pay for it, and I'll smoke it and smoke it and smoke it. Great idea. Let's study the motherfucking shit out of it. Now, prescription only, but this thing has not been studied for safety. And you know what? It may work too well. You may not be able to get off it. And nicotine can have long-term impact on lung cancer. Oh, that! what a pile of shit. I mean, this is where this guy goes way over the fucking top. It can have a long-term impact on, on cancer. I mean, that's just a pile of shit. To talk about nicotine's effect on cancer is the same thing. You might as well talk about broccoli. Like I said, broccoli does cause cancer. So do asparagus. There's all kinds of vegetables that can cause, that have carcinogens in them in the same amount as this e-cigarette. All right, you motherfucking cunt. So you're just being deceptive. You're just, you're, you're, this is just, I mean, what, can you call it anything else? You're just fucking lying. I mean, you're really playing a game with the truth here that statistically you know, you know quite well that a person walking the streets of New York City is in a lot more danger than somebody who's fucking ingesting fucking nicotine. You know that's a fact, Dr. Fathead. Studies that have shown that it actually helps accelerating lung cancer. This, the company says, oh no, nicotine has nothing to do with lung cancer. That's not really been disproven. I, we, we wish the company would come on. Oh, well, it's kind of hard in the, in the traditional sense to disprove it in the old days because only people ingesting nicotine obviously were usually smoking it, okay? And there is really very little connection between lung cancer and people who chew tobacco. But unfortunately, there is some connection because some people who chew tobacco also smoke cigarettes. So it's really hard to have that perfect study to make any connections. But it seems quite obvious there's no connection between nicotine and lung cancer. It's just a fucking fairy tale. Let it go, fella. There's, there's bigger concerns in this world. Uh, obviously debate this, but they say is that you're not inhaling with this e-cigarette the harmful chemicals or the tar in cigarettes. You know, they're right about that, and that's why, again, I've, I'll play both sides of this argument. I think that there's potential here, but it's got, got to be something the FDA looks into in studies. The tar is 90% of the problem, and, and the other carcinogens in cigarette smoke. They're right. If we could really use this product to treat... Tr you know what? The FDA has lost all credibility on subjects like this, because it seems quite clear, okay, that they were basically paid, um, and, and, and so it was suggested, it was, uh, um, they were whatever. I, you know, I don't know how they hire and fire people, but it was made clear, apparently, to them that they were supposed to find something wrong with this, because they played such games with their own fucking goddamn research. I mean, they study 18 of these little tips and they find a chemical in one of them from one manufacturer and then what do they do? They make a whole bunch of hysterical fucking panics over it and what does it mean? It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Obviously you can manufacture these things without that fucking chemical in them. No problem whatsoever. So it can be made even if it was. Even if they were all harmful right now the, the obvious truth is is they can be made safe because you don't need to be putting any crappy chemicals in these goddamn things. They can vaporize almost pure nicotine, you dumb ass. Transition off of cigarettes. It would be great, but not sold by some street vendor where kids can get access to it. That's what I'm worried about. All right, so here's some of the traditional versus the electronic as we put up on the screen here. You know, we know that they're fire operated, the, the regular cigarettes, battery operated. I guess the bottom line here is that the FDA, I mean, right? It doesn't come well, because, down. Well, there's other countries where it's banned. Australia, it's banned. Hong Kong, it's banned. You know, they're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, right, and probably for the same exact reasons, because they got to control the what the addicts can do so they can control the revenue they can create. It's about the fucking goddamn money. It's not about the people. It's not about health. It's, it never was. It was always a big fucking lie.
very closely in Britain. We need to look at it very closely here. I think there's a future for this product not sold over the counter. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're not going to sell that over the counter, but just sell cigarettes over the counter. Something, like I said, it's not too hard to take a pack of these things, and you open a little box, and you pull them out, and you chew them, and eat them, and die. Not too hard to fucking goddamn do, asshole. So how come these aren't behind the counter, and you got to have a, you know, a doctor's permission? And they were sold for centuries <laughs> over the counter. I mean, you're just being an asshole, okay? Yeah, you're just part of another, part of the industry. Who, who's paying you, asshole? I'm just curious. Who the fuck is paying this jackass? All right? Because why does he give a damn? Not where anybody can get it. And again, you know, there's another problem here. It may actually get young people to start smoking. I mean, you can... Oh, I forgot about that. That's right. The drug companies make a fortune selling them selling people these crappy shitty patches I wish I had one right here you know and this chewing gum for 30 or 40 bucks for a fucking box that's right the drug companies making a fortune off that crap because they call it some kind of medication yeah like it's some kind of therapy it's a fucking pile of shit this actually works it cures all your little social whiny problems that's why you're opening your fat mouth It's because you're just owned by the drug companies doctor Start with one of these things. And right, because I'm sort of thinking, like, hey, maybe it's healthy. That's uh, that, that's sort of appealing. Well, that's what they're trying to right. say. And I don't think it's healthy because I don't think nicotine's healthy. It's okay. a transition product. Well, last question for people. Yeah, well, look, it'd be stupid for anybody to, to, to start getting addicted to something. Like I said, it's, and, and really, with all that's known, I mean, even when I was a kid, though, we all, you know, everybody heard the stories about nicotine. And we still got addicted to cigarettes, okay? But this, you know, maybe it's going to be. You, you should, I guess the thing you shouldn't have done is start the news story by talking about it as a fad. It's not a fad. It's a replacement for a, for a, a horrible human vice, um, a horrible method of, of satisfying addiction. And obviously all, you know, addiction is bad, okay? We can all agree addiction is bad, okay? Fuckers. People who are trying, desperately trying to quit smoking out there, what do you recommend to them today? Well, here's what I would say, Ali. I would say that it totally depends on on the person. Some work well with Chantix. Cold turkey works best. Some need the nicotine products. Others use... <laughs> yeah, cold turkey works best. Yes, most people who eventually smoke, who quit smoking cold turkey. But how many people did cold turkey and, you know, four days later, smoking again. Four months later, smoking again. Two years later, they're smoking again. So that's that's the frailty of cold turkey. This might even be very good for those people, you know, people who, you know, let it go for a long period of time and then they have a, a fall down. If they pick this up, they might be able to cold turkey this easier than, than the real deal again. Side bin, which is an antidepressant. So it really depends. When I prescribe, I look to see who, who it is and how they react. Yeah, prescribe, exactly. Well, this shouldn't be in your prescription pocket. It should be left to, to us. We don't need you, fucking doctor. We really don't. By the way, I want to say one last thing. You're definitely a better singer than he is a dancer. That is quite... Yeah, all three of you fucking goddamn assholes who shouldn't be on goddamn TV talking out of your goddamn stupid ignorant asses. Fucktards. Alright, so anyway. Uh, that's my <laughs> e-cigarette e video for the day. I don't do a whole channel. E-cigarettes. I mean, everybody says, e-cigarette. Go to my website. E-cigarette. E-cigarette, e-cigarette.com. E -e -e cigarette.com. <laughs> e cig 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 cigarette.com. <laughs> it's just a million websites now. Uh, but it's good stuff. Yes, I fully support it, but no individual.